Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. It's another Duino coin update for uh, the month of uh, February actually as well as a bit of January. Um, and so far we've had a good start to the year um, in terms of Duino coin. And the biggest change is that release 3.0 has came out and it is quite a big release there are a lot of bugs which have been fixed in this release so if you were previously ex experiencing some problems with mining um, this could include my uh, mining um, issues or um, maybe errors when you start a pc miner or avr miner whether it's on your raspberry pi your computer or problems with the devices being connected to the server essentially they all have been fixed with this update and as you can see my two arduino unos um it's they are uno compatible boards not original arduino unos but they run on the same chip they are busy mining as well as the wemo z1 mini the esp8266 board it is mining as well as my raspberry pi 3 i've ran a uh, pc miner on there and one of the other features of release 3.0 is that there are now faster hash rates accelerated hash rates for pc mining so you should expect maybe a slightly higher profit um, in terms of the profitability of pc mining even with a raspberry pi uh, and certainly the codes for both avr boards and the esp8266 boards have been revamped and they have been slightly modified and Really, I'm experiencing no issues at all, nothing at all, but make sure that when you're PC mining, especially with the Raspberry Pi, make sure that you are updated to a Python 3 version, which is above 3.7.0. Right now, my Python 3 version is 3.9.2. So make sure you have updated Python 3 in order to receive the faster hash rates, which, um, which did come out with this new release. Of course, I still have my Arduino Due, but um, right now I'm not using my Arduino Due for mining. I do want to use it for other projects, so I'm just saving that board. Also, as you can see, some of the more simpler things uh, changed some of the USB cables. Um, as I did realize that some of them were, were breaking somehow, so I did change that. But otherwise, this is my current Duino coin mining setup. The price of Duino coin has significantly fallen from the last time I had made uh, an update. Um, to now it's around, uh, I think, a tenth of a cent um, in USD. Um, and right now, to cash out my Duco, I don't think it's a very, very good idea. So I will hold my Duco. It really isn't costing me anything to keep these miners running. So I will keep them running in the background. There's of course no noise, not a lot of energy used. And really it, it isn't a hassle for me to keep them mining. So I'll keep them mining, I'll keep them turned on and uh, I'll, I'll still be collecting Duco. I'll still be mining Duco and I will hold them in my wallet until um, who knows in the future, maybe when the price spikes again. So with that said, there are also other news. Um, there are different apps which have been created um, faucets as well and new exchange pairs exchange um, in exchange tokens as well which you can all find in the duino coin website there is a page on the duino coin website and i'll put it in the description box below where there are uh, apps and faucets which are listed um, they aren't all officially supported by duino coin so make sure that when you're using these external apps made by other community members or other developers make sure you know what you're doing and also be sure of cyber security as well it's it's, it's of course uh, very important that you keep your data safe especially when working with crypto online and with that said node s has actually closed down yesterday i I did read an announcement that Node S has shut down and it simply is because the developer, I believe his name is Connor, who's making it, it's, uh, he's not really uh, making a lot of profit doing it. And uh, well, to be fair, he's instead losing money um, and it is costing him a lot of money to get the server up and running and maintaining Node S because Node S, of course, the Duino coin community is going bigger. So Node S is dealing with more and more exchange requests and he, uh, he really is not making enough profit to support the cost of running 
uh, the, the whole system. So that's the update with Note S, but I did manage to cash out my Duco uh, a few months back, around five months back, six months back. So I was quite lucky. And at that time, the price was of course much higher and less people mined were mining uh, Duco. But in terms of the difficulty of, of, of AVR mining, as well as the hash rate, it's around 228 uh, hashes per second for these AVR boards. So, and the difficulty is around six. So of course not a lot of changes here and there, but uh, this may change maybe during the next release. So uh, I'll be monitoring Duino coin. I'll see what the latest news are. It's always nice to, um, talk about duino coin mining other people's experiences in the discord server so make sure you, to join the discord server if you haven't already the developers are on there um, as well as other key uh, i would say key contributors to the project so you could discuss your issues on there or any other findings you have seen in terms of the direction of this channel it is 2022 and um, of course, Duino coin has been the main focus of this channel ever since it came out. I have been very, very intrigued, interested with this coin. So it's definitely going to be uh, quite regularly showing up on videos. However, I do want to go into different types of content, uh, especially Arduino projects, maybe. Um, I, I haven't finished this project, but I do plan on making an infrared thermometer. This is just a breadboard with a few wires which aren't connected to anything but an OLED display, an OLED LED display and an infrared thermometer um, sensor. So I do want to also focus on Arduino projects. So you may see videos on that coming up soon. I've been very, very busy during the past a few weeks. So it has been very difficult for me to make videos, but I will, of course, uh, keep on making videos every few weeks. And I do want to focus on ham radio as well, also known as amateur radio, another one of my interests. But with that said, this was just a, a very, very short uh, Duino coin update for February as well as a bit of, of January as well, because release 3.0 is quite a big uh, Duino coin release. A lot of things have been fixed. And if you're still facing problems, make sure to report it either on the Discord server or on the GitHub page where developers can look at those issues and rectify them. So with that said, we are reaching 500 subscribers really, really quickly. Thank you very much for all the support, all the comments. And it, it really is enjoyable making these videos and interacting with the community, especially when uh, you ask questions in the comments or giving me new tips. So I definitely will be continuing making videos and of course, uh, replying to your comments, engaging with the uh, Duino coin and of course the YouTube community. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you soon. Uh, have a nice day.